In this video, we'll learn how to create a Bootstrap 4 responsive image slider with HTML. So let's take a look at it here before we get started. As you can see on the left and right, we have the previous and next buttons. Then we have these indicator buttons at the bottom that we can use to navigate to any of the slides we have displaying. So as you can see, when we flex the slider down, you'll find that no matter how wide or narrow we have it displaying, the image is always gonna take up 100% of the width of the screen. So let's go ahead and get started. In the description of this video will be the complete download along with these starter files if you wanna fo follow along with me. So I'm gonna have index.html open in Sublime Text, the free text editor, and also I'm gonna have it open in Google Chrome as we're working on it. Also inside of these starter files will be all three images that you're seeing here of these uh, beaches with their docs. Okay, so here I have the blank index.html file open. And from the top, we have it saying uh, bootstrap for image slider as our title. Then we have our UTF-8 standard character set. Then width device with initial scale one for mobile devices, followed by our bootstrap CSS file here that we're linking to. And then we have the latest version of jQuery.js and then also the same with popper.js. And then finally we have bootstrap, bootstrap JS here at the bottom. So we have a little bit of CSS started for us here. We're just gonna have our images displaying at 100% of their width and 100% of their height. And then we have a little bug fix there for Firefox, which uh, wasn't displaying bootstrap uh, image sliders properly. So I'm just going to type in a little bit of text here to make sure that we're connected to Google Chrome using the A character. And then if I refresh, there we have our index.html file connected to Google Chrome. So let's get started with our first tag for the image slider. Let's start off with a div ID, which will wrap around the entire slide here, or slider. And we're going to call that div ID, div ID demo. Okay, and then we're also going to have a class here, the standard class for a bootstrap slider, which is carousel space slide. And then we'll say data dash ride carousel. Okay. And then we can drop down and close out our div. And let's start our unordered list for our carousel indicators that are down here at the bottom where we link to different slides. So I'm just gonna create a quick note here, an invisible comment in HTML saying, this is the start of our indicators. And then we'll start our unordered list and we'll give it a class saying carousel-indicators. Okay, and then we can drop down and close out our unordered list. And then inside of our unordered list, we'll have our list items. So we're gonna say li data-target and then hashtag or pound demo for our div ID demo. And then we're gonna say data-slide2. And we're gonna have the number zero. So we're gonna start always at zero. And then for our first one, we'll have class active. Okay, so that's gonna be our first one there. And then we can drop down and we'll say li and once again, we'll say data-target demo for the demo ID, and then data slide to, and we'll change the zero to one, which will bring us to the second slide. And we don't need to add class active, only for the first. Okay, and then we can just paste that in again, and let's change the one to two, which will bring us to the third slide. And that does it for our indicator. So let's drop down and create another invisible comment here in HTML saying this is the start of our slideshow. 
Okay, so underneath that we'll have a div class for the carousel inner class. All right, and then we can close out the div for that. And then inside of here we'll have a div class carousel-item for each one of our carousel images. And then for our first, we'll want it to be active. Okay, so we can drop down, close out that div, and then inside of it we'll have our image. So the first image is img forward slash, since we're in the image folder, and then doc.png. So all of our images are going to be doc.png, but with a number in there per image. So here we have our first image displaying, and we have our indicators down there with the first one lit up and active. So what we can do is we can just copy this div class carousel item and paste it, and we'll take out the active class here, and I'm just going to change this doc image to doc2. And if we refresh, now we have the second image that will slide over and we can use the indicators to go to and from either image. So let's add our third image now. So I'm just going to paste the carousel item class here and change it to doc3. Okay, so now if we refresh, we have all three images that we can link to and all we have left to do is add our previous and next buttons that are showing off to the sides here. Okay, so let's create another comment in HTML and I'm just going to say controls start for the start of our previous and next controls. And let's start our previous one first on the left. So we'll say a class carousel dash control and then PREV for previous and then we'll say href pound demo okay and then data slide previous and then we can close out our a tag and inside of it we'll need to create the icon so we'll say span class carousel dash control dash prev dash icon. Okay, so now we should have our previous icon here displaying on the left. So we can go back, but we can't go forward just yet. So let's go ahead and just copy this carousel control class here and then paste it underneath. And all we'll need to do is change the previous text to next. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh our image slider. And there we have the previous and next buttons displaying for us on either side, as well as the indicators at the bottom. So that does it. I want to thank you for sticking around with me through the tutorial. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, and turn on your notifications. Then I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching.